Oh, he fit it. That's a big fish, guys. See him right there? Come on, here he comes, here he comes. Bite it. Oh, yep, got him. Oh, shit. Yes, guys. Oh, he's going hard. Holy shit, that's huge. That is huge. Good morning, guys. We're going on a big fishing trip right now, man. I am looking for an absolute monster of a fish. There's all the chances of catching the fish of a lifetime on this trip. All right, we'll get some groceries. I don't have too much to get. Slowly filling up the trolley, man. Steaks, mate. What have we got here? I got heaps of that already. $134 that cost me if anyone's wondering. I'm solo obviously. There's two ledges I've never fished and I don't know anyone that's fished them. We're gonna try and get to them. There's another ledge that I have fished and it's actually really good. So we're heading to a campground. We're gonna set up a tent, set up a nice camp. Oh, you don't even know how excited I am for this trip, man. You guys are coming with me. Good morning. All right, I got here after dark last night. I just set up my tent in the dark. Didn't show you guys because the mozzies were out in force, man. It is six o'clock. Oh man, look at the Pudakawa flowers. The bees are loving it. Get some water boiling. Oh man, a few mozzies flying around this morning. The gold, mate. Did you see that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Idiot. Oh, it's good to get a coffee in you, man. Not quite seven o'clock yet. We've got a good tide switch at nine to 9.30 today. I wanna to be on the ledge at nine at the latest. We've got a bit to do though. I've got to choose which lures I'm going to run. So I've got a good assortment of lures I brought on this trip, guys. I'm going to show you them very shortly. I'm just going to take a small selection of ones that I know are going to catch a freaking giant. So we'll go through those shortly. But yeah, you can see our camp zone is a pretty beautiful zone, man. Pudakawa trees in full bloom just above us here. And the bees are loving it. The bees are just humming in there. It's awesome. The tent I brought on this trip too is that Coleman Instant Swagger, you know, the same one that I had on the last episode. So this is the second time I've used it. It was a pretty good sleep last night, to be honest. I woke up this morning nice and early. But anyway, guys, it's a bloody good morning. And I'm stoked to bring you guys on this adventure. Pity the mosquitoes are so bad. <laughs> Feels weird wearing a hoodie and pants in summertime. I'd rather do that than coat my whole freaking body in insect repellent. Lures, man. Many lures. All right. I'm happy with that. Trusty. All right, I need the leader. Snips. Lighter. All right, first things first, guys. Get a leader tied on. My go-to is an FG, which is a F and good knot. That's what it stands for. FG stands for F and good. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know what it stands for. Does anyone know? When I put tension on, I'll show you how I like to do it. Maximum knot pullage. I get my arms on either side of my knees and I use my hip flexors to push my legs out. which in turn gives crazy tension, man. So that's the first but most important stage of that knot. So I've pulled so tight, the braid has actually gone like a translucent color. It's like it turns into gel. 
is what I like to call it, but when you see that, you know it's actually fully tight and it's gripping. I'm not gonna do a full knot tutorial because that'll bore the heck out of you. If you wanna see how I tie my FGs, because everyone ties FG knots different, I've noticed. Like me, all the boys, we all tie a different FG knot. But if you wanna see how I do it, drop a comment. Never throw away your tag ends either, guys. It's freaking annoying when you see these lying around the ground. And that's what it looks like, man, all tied up, ready to go. I always go two arm spans. Saltiga nylon leader, 170 pound. I normally always run 200 pound, but the last few trips I've been running this and it's been going really well. I like how it ties, I like how it goes through the guides, everything, so I've actually been real stoked with this stuff here. So far this season, we've landed 20 kingfish using this leader, which is wild, some monsters as well, man. All right, let's go through some lures, guys. So I've just brought a great selection of lures in this box, man. I'm only going to take four, maybe five around there today. First of all, the big Molossi. That's a 260F Vader, 180 gram. So I've never thrown that one. That one's brand new. But I like the look of it. I like the white, silver, green, black contrast. So that one's definitely coming. We'll just take this tag off. Hundred and thirty gram mullet from OTL, definitely coming. Hundred and thirty gram blackjack from OTL, definitely coming. I'm probably going to throw that one first. All right, what else we got? Another big Molossi green silver white combo. I think I'll take that guy as well. That's another two sixty F. All right, what else are we going to take, man? What else are we going to take? Cavi. Maybe we'll take this cavi lure. It's a sinking lure, so that could be something different. And we'll take the big boy. Big boy lures, 250. I like the white color of that, white and silver, so we'll take that guy. Now, there's a few others here, but I might show you them a bit later on. All right, we'll load it up. Let's go. I've just been walking around for the past hour. First hurdle, man, just got to swim this, so thought I'd let you guys know. I'm going to put the camera on my head and we'll get across. This is actually very scary. Get to the ledge. This is actually f***ing scary, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some huge sharks in here before, man. Like actual monsters. Great whites as well. And bronzies. It is so deep below me as well, man. Oh, fire out, guys. I'm not gonna lie. That scared the shit out of me. I've honestly seen some monster sharks in here. Like right there. So where are we going? Two more obstacles, man. Hopefully, we make it. Oh, man, I swim a lot to zones, but that one there freaks me out, man. I can see the current is starting to build, which is perfect. It's gonna be perfect timing, guys. Okay, next hurdle. Look at that. <laughs> Let's just get in, man. Get it over and done with. So I think I'm going to cross right here where it's at its narrowest. I'll just slip down into here. We'll calmly swim across, man, not to attract any big sharks. And believe me, there is big sharks around here, bro. Holy sheesh. Here we go. Very slippery. Oh. Okay, I'm going to aim for that sunny spot. All right, let's go. We're swimming. Please don't be any sharks in here right now. Please, 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 please don't be in sharks in here right now. Okay, nearly there. Come on. All right. Yeah, boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't even want to look back there. <laughs> Just in case I saw a shark, because i got to swim back there later. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this one's the scariest of all. Look how far that is, man. This is going to be friggin' scary. Here we go. Oh, man. Please, please, please don't be any sharks. Please. All right, we're in. I'm just trying to really relax. 
nice easy paddle strokes i don't want to give off any distraught vibrations you're nearly there don't speed up now all right come on a little bit more all right yes yes oh my gosh we will be the only person that has fished this ledge probably in years man so this is going to be very exciting we could be into the fish of a lifetime out here man no jokes look at that look at that current starting to build oh my gosh but i'm kind of thinking right here it's a little bit deeper all right i'm going to set up the gear and let's get casting within the next two minutes bro so the rod i bought along on this session it's my trusty dragger, Daiwa Dragger Breakthrough. You saw how small it packed down on, on my pack there, so I could just swim these guts with it strapped to the pack, and it's just it's not in the way, you know, like it was pretty compact. So that's ideal setup for this mission. And the reel I'm running is my Soltiga 18,000. I'm gonna go left hand wine today. I got a feeling we're gonna find some freaking horses today. Massive fish. And to the Jack Worthingtons out there that always try to scope out my spots. Bro, <laughs> you're welcome to get to this one. Enter at your own risk, man. Sketchy. <laughs> Dial Dragger, Saltiga 18,000 combo. Let's get a lure on and get casting right now. And like I said before, guys, we're gonna run that. 130 gram blackjack first up. The amount of big fish I've caught on this exact lure right here, this season only, is ridiculous, man. That's gonna be up first for obvious reasons. <laughs> I'll set the drag. Nice and tight. Let's go. Okay, guys. Where are we gonna cast? I reckon off here. Alright, first cast. Ah. Can I get a fish first cast? I've said that before and it's worked. I'd love to have a pack of fish follow the lure like right below us. Into this zone here so you can see it really clearly. That would be sick. We'll try and make that happen guys, alright? I'm doing lots of splashing just to try and like create a bit of commotion. We'll walk up there and we'll cast into the head of that current see if there's any fish holding in that pressure edge. Ah, kind of sketchy zone to be casting with that in front of me, but we'll see what happens. We'll get back to this current here, guys. Fish this current zone. We'll get some feeding fish swim past shortly, surely. Just a matter of time, man. Oh, yep 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 here we go guys here we go come on come on eat it eat it eat it he swirled on it see him down there watch this i'll bomb it now i'll start working it come on where are you Ah, oh, where'd he go? Ah, oh, it's exciting. First fish of the trip, boys. Yee -hee. Didn't look too bad either. Looked like quite a nice fish. Here's one. Oh, big cowboy. Look at the size of that cowboy. That thing's huge. Crazy. I'm after the fish that eat those monstrous cowboy, though. They're out here, man. They're out here. If I catch an absolute giant today, it is going to be so freaking hectic by myself. But that's all we got to do, boys. We're into it. See this current line? See how the foam's getting swept right down? We've got like a corridor of current right in front of us. So anything cruising the coastline is going to go right past us right here. Yeah, 
king is. Come on. Oh, yep. Big fish, big fish. Yep. Oh, he bit it. See him right there? Come on, come on, come on. He fully bit it. Here it comes, here it comes. That's a big fish, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Come on. Come on. There he is. He fully bit it at one point, just didn't get a hook into him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Have one more go at it. Where is he? That's a good fish, man. That's a real big fish. Come on, here he comes, here he comes. Bite it, oh. Yep, got him, yep. Oh, shit. Yes, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's getting out of here. Oh no. That was nuts. I cannot believe that, man. Oh. oh my gosh, he's going hard, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. This is a big fish man. Come on. He's gonna run again. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. I got color. There's a leader. Oh my gosh. That was intense. Oh. He's a big fish, man. Ah. Okay. No. I'm going to try. Oh my gosh. That thing is huge. Oh no. I'm going to try and wash them up here. Come on. Go. Okay. Giant fish! Ah! No! Stay there. He's gone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Quick. Oh no. He's right up here. Oh, he's in there. He's in there. Yes, not good. Hooks come out. He's in there.
Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's still in there. Okay. I got his tail. Ah. Okay, I got him. Monster fish. Let's get him in here. Holy sh! That's huge. That is huge! That was the most gnarly thing, man. We nearly lost that fish. Whew. That is one ginormous fish, guys. That thing is absolutely huge, man. Oh, far out. And we nearly lost him man. I'm gonna pick him up just quickly so you guys can see him and then we're gonna get him back in the water because he unfortunately got a bit thrashed around in that rock pool. That is an absolute tank. We're gonna get him in real quick. Gosh, man! What? Did you see the freaking power run that that thing did, man? Oh my gosh! The old trusty blackjack, man. Just put a new lure on too, so I'll show you what I put on in a second. The blackjack done really well, but I'm pretty keen to try something else. Keep a bit of variety and just see what we can catch on it. I didn't bring my salad. <laughs> Literally just got ham. I'm gonna put all the ham on it. Why not ham crackers, cheese on a wrap with a bit of aioli? Crackers will give it a little bit of texture, mate. Plus, I want to go fishing so badly right now, so I'm just going to smash this back. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, man. That's actually really good. Okay, so I've just put some more sunblock on and we're ready to get casting, but this is the lure that I put on. That's that big Molossi Vader 260F. 180 gram lures, never ever thrown it. The color combination is so unique, man. So I'll put it on, let's see what happens. I have no idea what I'm gonna catch on this, but let's find out. First cast, let's go. Ah. It's swimming real nice, look at that. That's gonna get a bite, man. Here we go, here we go. Big fish just hit it. Big fish just came up onto it. Where is he, where is he? You might have missed this fish. Ah, oh, gutted. It looked like a huge swirl in behind the lure. Oh wow, look at that. Albatross. That's epic. Oh. Oh. Big car way down. Look at the size of them. You don't often see albatrosses like that around the mainland. We've got some really nice blue water in front of us now. Oh, look at these car way. Oh. The car way are trying to bite this man. Look at the size of this lure. And those car way, look at them. They're not that much bigger. This feels pretty slow and pretty dead here at the moment. We're gonna go look for some more moving water and get the lures back in there, man, because we're gonna get a whole nother run of fish shortly. Okay. Inflate the bag. 
Shark and fist of water, here we come. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at it. Oh, man. There we go. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. Take two. Man, it's so slippery. Oh man, we made it. I'm sure that took way longer. I suppose the tide's high now, so there's a lot more water in there. Oh, it's warm. So hot. Take the high line and then the only bit I need to swim is that little narrow piece there. What do you reckon, Zim? Keen, bro? Peach slices. <laughs> I made the lid into a little spoon, look at that. <laughs> it's very calm here. The good thing about that, if any big predators come in on the lures, you guys are gonna see it so well. Fish of a lifetime, explosion, right at my feet. I didn't get eaten by a shark in Shark Alley, so that's always a success. It's called Shark Alley for a reason too. If you've seen what I've seen over there, you probably would not get in that water, man, and swim that gut. I'm just a mad Stupid man. Oh, there's bait right here. <laughs> bait jumping out of the water right here, guys. Not being chased or anything, but looks like they're just holding in this little cove right here. That is very good. Very good for us. And we're about to get casting, boys. Let's go. Right, I'm going to go right hand wind. Alright, first cast. Look how good that lure is swimming from this height. Normally lures are hard to swim like from this height. I'm very impressed with how that's going man. Oh, see that? Here we go guys, here's a fish. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, yep. We're on. Ah. Oh. Yeah, baby. There he is. Yeah. Oh. I didn't give that fish much of a chance, did I? <laughs> yeah, boy. I'm, getting, I'm actually going to get that lure out. Just for safety for myself. Crap, I freaking let him go in there. This is not good. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I cannot believe I just grabbed him as he swam past. Okay, not a bad little fish. Took a huge lure, and we're gonna see if we can get a big monster five times the size of this guy. <clears throat> All right. Oh, yeah. Just launch him off. Yeah, baby. Oh. First fish on that particular color, Molossi Vader. Stoke man, on the board with it. Stoits. Look at all those fish in there, that's crazy.
Let's go, back to camp. Very hungry, very thirsty. Get back to camp, bro. Home sweet home, man. Oh. Seems like the mozzies are already here, man. <laughs> They're flying around already. It's annoying because it's so hot. I'm gonna have to cover up, otherwise I'm gonna get eaten alive, man. First things first, boys. The man needs a beer, mate. <sighs> Catherine got this. I'm gonna use it. Oh, look at them, look at them in there. Oh my gosh, look at these mozzies. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna use the jet lighter. Oh. oh my gosh. Those mozzies are next level, bro. The whole mozzie can go right there. How do you like my little tripod? <laughs> okay. Let's try and make a little zone here. Oh, we've got some delicious steak in here, boys. Woohoo! Steak, coleslaw, a bit of spicy on a sandwich, which I've got somewhere. Right here, boys. First things first guys, cheers. What a freaking epic day. I am starving. This is not working, I'm putting it over here. I wanna put it right underneath me. How's that? Am I gonna catch on fire? Classic. There's a little bit there. I've got another one, but might as well use that up, obviously. Okay. Where's my knife? Turn that down. Very hot, very hot, very hot. Oh my gosh. Cook that. Let's get some salt and pepper going. Oh yeah. Would have been good if this was venison from one of my hunts, but kind of getting low. Need to go on another venison hunt. Oh yeah. That is going to be good, man. You guys always ask me about my knife. My good old Cobber Gerald makes these wild side knives. Super good at making knives, man. I've had this for ages. Have a look for wild side knives over on Instagram and Facebook. Let's get one of these sandwiches going, man. That steak is ready. Now, where's that little pack of the sauce gone? There she is. Okay, I'm going to put a bit of coleslaw on there. Man, if I'm not careful, I'm gonna have mosquitoes on my on my sandwich. Look at them all. Spicy sauce, it's quite good. Catherine will hate it, because she hates spicy stuff. Okay, I'm gonna cut this in half. Oh my goodness. How do you like your steak, mate? Yew! Perfect. All right, steak sandwich. Mmm. That is actually so, so freaking good, man. There's about 200 mozzies right here. I don't think that candle's doing anything. All right, we're going to try something else, guys. I've left the millions of mosquitoes, come down to the beach, got a light set, little lures, man. I got an assortment of little lures at the moment, little bucktail tied on. And bro, we are gonna cast this evening. We're gonna get out of the mozzies. We're gonna just cruise this beach and enjoy the freaking scenery. Let's go have a couple of casts, man. Woohoo! Last time I used one of these bucktails, I got freaking monstered by that big black GT. There should be a drop off just here. All right, boys, we're launching. We're launching. Yeah. No bites, no fish, no action, but what a freaking nice way to spend the evening. Good morning, guys. The gold, mate. Are we gonna catch a monster this morning? I 
freaking hope so, man. Let's go, man. Conditions look freaking amazing. <sighs> look at that. Quite a nice ledge right here. We're gonna have a few casts off that first up. I'm gonna rig up the light set. Cast a few smaller lures into these real nice guts. See what other big Mooching predators we can find. Five inch minnow, grey nomad glow. We're gonna go cast this man right into these little zones right here. Going to have a cast in here. Look at this nice gut. What is that? Oh, it's a freaking turtle, man. Turtle. That is epic. They are not common for here, that's for sure. <sighs> man, the fishing has been slow today. Light tackle or heavy. Haven't seen anything, man. It's crazy. I've made my way to the top of this hill. I'm sitting in the scrub. I've got a freaking nice view below me. I'm just gonna wait till the switch of the tide. Yesterday on that tide change, we actually got some action. I'm gonna conserve my energy and just wait for that, to be honest, I'm freaking knackered. In the meantime, I'm gonna chill out right here in my little posse, and I'm just gonna watch below and just see what I see swimming past while I wait for that tide to swing. I've made my way back down to that zone where we got into those fish yesterday. I actually had to sleep under a bush. It was amazing, man. But I saw two great white sharks get airborne on fish feeding out here in front of me so that was pretty wild and that is why i'm sketched out to swim around in these zones one of the airstrikes was like right here too right in front of me tide's starting to push time to get casting again slow start to the day but we're going to finish it off with a bang this evening where are we going to stand guys we'll go up here to start i reckon Whoa. gotta catch something today i'm not going to stop until we catch something there must be a big school of bait just here guys. All these gannets have been circling right here for like five minutes. There's got to be some fish just sitting out here that I can't see. Yeah, it's pretty uncommon to have so many birds circling one area without there being something there. And these gannets will dive into the water to catch fish. So I bet you they'll be watching something just out here. It's a nice looking lure. Something completely different to what I've thrown on this trip. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully some hungry fish turn up. I've just put that big Molossi Vader on again. See what happens with this one. Here, King, he's covered. Covered. Give them a holler, call them in. Normally works. Oh, yep. Yep, big fish, man. Oh. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Oh. oh my gosh. Man, that took a it took him a couple of seconds to figure out what was going on. That's a good fish, man. Yes. Oh. Oh, far out. Woo! Okay, let's get down here. Let's try bring him around this corner. Looks like quite a good fish. 
There's a leader. Swim around there, keep going. Oh, come on, come away from that corner, man. Okay. Let's try and get over here. Oh, he's not finished. Nice fish. Woohoo! That's a good fish. Oh. There's no real big waves coming. I might just have to get him where he is. Hey, 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 hey. This isn't ideal. Easy, bro. Okay, into the rock pool. Yeah, boy! Big fish! First of all, I'm gonna pull a ton of line out so I can get him over there. Do not want to let this fish go in the rock pool. I might not catch him. Oh, oh, oh. oh No! Oh my gosh, I nearly lost him. There we go, guys. Woohoo! Nice fish! Yeah, baby, got a nice fish on that big molossi. All right, we'll get the lure out. There we go. So stoked, guys. Woohoo! Yeah, boy! Not super keen to get into that water at the moment. <laughs> the big molossi strikes again. At least we got one nice fish today. I don't know how many casts I've done on a heavy set. I tried so many lures as well, just today they seem to be just pretty shut down. I'm looking forward to getting back, man, to be honest. It's been a big day. Oh, far out. Oh my gosh. Cheers, guys. What a freaking day, man. What a hard day of fishing, man. It's a big day for only that action. I've just had a shower and it feels good to relax, man. Dinner time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, mate. My cooker is not level. What can we use? What can we use? Nice. Nice sheep. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Look at that man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, baby. Mm. How's the sunset, man? How nice what a hammock have been in this tree, man. Woohoo! Although in saying that, the mosquitoes were so bad, there's no way I would have come and sat up in here. All right, we're heading home, guys. What lure do we give the most valuable player award to, man? Do we give it to the Molossi Vader for getting two fish? Or do we give it to the OTL for getting that freaking monster, eh? That, that was a pretty technical bite, actually, that, the one that the OTL caught. I'll play the clip now and I'll just sort of talk you through what I did. So you see how the fish came up behind the lure there and he showed interest, but he didn't, like, normally if they really want to eat it, like, they'll just smash it instantly. You can see like try after try, I'll slam the lure back on the surface of the water around where I last saw him. And generally that like flares him up, creates a bit of surface commotion, creates a bit of like explosion on the surface, like something's happening. They always come up for it. All right, I'm just turning down here. Just gonna call in and see me old Cobbett Leith on the way home. This is a turn off to his new house. I haven't seen his new house yet. That particular action where I bomb it down on the surface, that, um, 
That's a really good tactic, man, on a situation like that where a fish has been really hard to get a bite out of. And I can tell you that it would work for GT as well. It would work for, for most pelagics. The lure hits the water, boom, big eruption. The fish will see that. He'll turn, he'll come up, and that's when I start swimming it nicely, subsurface. And you can see that fish, this time he came in with a little more haste, a little more spice in his step. I knew straight away he was going to bite it from his body language. That's a good fish, man. That's a real big fish. Come on, here he comes, here he comes. Bite it. Oh, yep, got him. Yep. Oh, shit. Yes, guys. And then my Saltiga started emptying line very quickly. <laughs> I'd say let's give the MVP award to the OTL, the Blackjack, the 130 gram chop. What a heck of a trip, man. I'm still frothing on that trip. It was a cool trip. I'm heading home, gonna see Catherine and River. We're gonna do some Christmas stuff with the family. Then I'm gonna prep for next week's trip. We've got a monster trip next week, which I'm freaking amped about. But yeah, man, she's all go here at J Wild. Sneak peek, got some cool designs coming for the old t-shirts and stuff. They're getting closer. A lot of you guys have been hitting me up about the merch. How's it coming along and stuff. It's coming along, it's a bit slow because I'm also doing trips every week. But, I mean, we're getting there. She's non-stop around here, mate. I'm back in the office at the moment, just going through some edits. I just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what's been going on at the moment, behind the scenes. As you know, I've been running the Diver Dragger Rod. So I've been using that over the past uh, five, six months. And in the background, we've been gathering up content. We've been field testing that rod, obviously. And um, it's going to be a rod available to the New Zealand fishermen. But I've been working on a promo video for that rod. Right now on the computer I've got it opened up. This is the project right here. It looks pretty hectic but there's a lot going on on this edit. Oh he's coming back. Oh yo! And I do a lot of this stuff in the background that you guys probably don't realise. It's not just the vlogs. I actually do a lot of product stuff in the background for various brands that I work with. It's very exciting when it comes to doing stuff like this man. I absolutely love doing this sort of stuff. In two days time I'm getting all my gear. You can see I've started laying things out, getting things ready. And we're going on another huge adventure, man, two days time. So stay tuned for that one. But for now, I'm going to roll this promo because you might, might not have seen the video yet. I'm going to roll the finished video right now. Enjoy it. G'day guys, Jay Wilds here. I'm going to quickly tell you guys about a brand new rod that's going to be available in New Zealand. Probably actually available right now by the time you're watching this video. This is the Daiwa Dragger Breakthrough. This is a three-piece travel rod designed for this style of fishing, man. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, yo! Yup! This is a big fish, I think. Oh, this is a big, big one, bro! This rod here packs down nice and small. That's the total length of it there when it's broken down. That's a join. We've got another join up here. Fits in my pack really nicely. Also, when I'm traveling overseas, this rod has been so sick. I've done some amazing overseas trips with this rod this year in the testing phase. Wow, bro. It's heavy, man. So this is the first one into New Zealand, but by the time you are watching this, man, they are ready. You can probably go buy one right now. I've matched this up with my Saltiga 18,000 running big stick baits. What we've found over the last few months is that this rod has been freaking nailing the fish. It's so nice to cast. It handles the big fish. And we've caught some monsters on it, man. Oh, oh bro. Oh my gosh. Honestly, that fish put up such a freaking fight, man. This thing is huge, oh, dude. Hell, bro. That is a fish, man. That is a big fish, man. I really like this rod. If you're looking for a new topwater rod for this season, check out the new Daiwa Dragger Breakthrough. Comes in two sizes. This one here is a nine foot three. It also comes in an eight three. Very good option for your topwater combo this season. Go and check them out. Die with Dragger, and we're going fishing right now, man. Oh, bro. Oh, you're gonna need to stop him, bro. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, man. <laughs> that fish fully went hard, man. Like, I, I was hanging off a dead life there. So, yeah, there you go, guys. It's a bit of behind the scenes stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the actual adventure of this episode. And 
We'll catch you guys on the next one coming out real soon.